got glass, glass water systems. Uh, here, going over uh, to fill your chlorinator solution tank, how to prime your solution tank, and, and make sure it's actually doing what it's supposed to do and, and kind of troubleshoot if you got any other problems. So first of all, we're going to start out, you need to get a hose, say four to six feet long, and there's always going to be on any of our systems, there's always going to be a hose bed right after the, 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 the retention tank. going to buy chlorine. Preferably, you should buy chlorine from the pool supply store. These are two and a half gallons. They work real well. If you can't get that, you can use two gallons of bleach. But preferably, this is what you should use. They're about, I don't know, eight bucks when you buy the container, and they're about four bucks to fill up. You can get them filled up at Ace, any pool supply store, pretty much has these. Pinch a penny, Leslie's, you name it. So you're gonna fill this up. You don't want this thing to ever get more than a quarter tank low if you can help it. But sometimes things happen and you run it out. So we're gonna go over also how to prime the pump. Right. Just be careful not to get this on your clothes. It will stay lid back on, make sure it closes. If you have a problem with the lid not fitting tightly, call us, we'll, we'll send you another one. Alright, so, I've got to fill it, I just put the lid back on. It's going to screw up, but I will. I'm going to turn the water on. I'm going to fill it. Now your pump should start pumping. Alright? On the front of all these, it tells you how to actually prime it. It sometimes wears off over time. This pump's been here a little bit. But it says function valve, and that says quarter turn to prime pump. All right? It might be worn off, but it's a quarter turn. Now there's two places there. There's gonna be this right here. Turning this does nothing. This is just if you wanted to put a line to extend it, you could, but you don't have to. The line that makes it's most important that they turn the pump around is right here. This is the priming knob. So I'm going to turn it a quarter turn, doesn't matter which, which basically to the left, and I'm going to start letting it prime itself. You're going to see how it's spitting, you know, air and all that kind of stuff out because this, this has definitely run out of chlorine. Now you can see it's kind of coming out a little bit. Now, I always like to, when I'm priming the pump, I always turn it up to 100%, okay? All right. But don't forget to turn it back down to where you have your set, usually 50, 60%. All right, so it's pumping pretty good, pretty decent stream. I got good pressure back. I'm gonna turn it back the way it came. Now, you'll see this line, it's jumping. My saying is, if the line's not jumping, it's not pumping. But those are the simple ways to prime your pump. Now, if this line's not pumping, then that means your injector down here is clogged. And yet, we usually have two ball valves that you can turn it off. Take it out, make sure it's not clogged. If you have any problems with this, you're welcome to call us at any of our phone numbers. But the key thing is, is you wanna make sure that you get this pump going. So any hose bin after this flow switch will activate this pump. Then you fill it up. But you wanna make sure if you can not to run it out of chlorine. That's it for this lesson. Thank you.